We have a brand. New York has a brand. And when people see it, it means something. You know, when we go there, it's not, Kansas doesn't have a brand. New York does have a brand. It does, actually. He's right about that. And they're destroying the brand. You've seen the news about New York and pizza restaurants. And so we don't, we don't need to make a mountain out of a molehill, but it's something that I think people need to understand because it goes to the mind of the communist. When you think of New York City, whether you've been there or not, pizza's on the list somewhere for what you think about New York City. They're famous for it. I adore New York City. And when I go, if I'm walking down a sidewalk, I generally even have either have one of those sidewalk hot dogs in my hand or I have a slice of pizza. I just stop and grab a slice and I just walk around with pizza. That's what I do. It's part of New York City for me. But they're going after that. They're going after these coal and wood-fired pizza restaurants. Going to charge them exorbitant amounts of money for no reason whatsoever to try to scrub all their stuff. It's ridiculous. It's insane. But why is really the question. We'll bring Chef Andrew Gruel on here for a moment to talk about the restaurant aspect. Why? Why do they do it? Why do communists destroy everything? Well, I think once again the right gets this wrong. That's a weird way to say that, but I think the right gets this wrong about communists. We will look at something like this and we will say, hey, they're wrecking it. It's what they do. But it's not what they do. What, what they do is different than who they are. You see, what you do is different than who you are. Meaning, this is what I mean. We have to understand this. It's just, it's, it's going to speak to how these people think. I wake up in the morning, and first thing I do is I go brush my teeth. I wake up in the morning and I brush my teeth. That's a choice. That's a conscious effort. I wake up, I don't like how my mouth feels in the morning, so I go brush my teeth to wash all the yuck out of my mouth. You probably do the same thing. That's what you do. That's what I do. But I also, I have this. I laugh. You know, I like to laugh. You probably like to laugh. I laugh at jokes. I make jokes. I'm sarcastic. I enjoy humor. That's not something I do. It's not a conscious choice. It's who I am. It's how God made me. It's woven into my DNA. It's who I am. Communists destroy everything they touch. Everything. From our education system to our military to pizza ovens in New York City. But we have to understand something. It's who they are. It's not what they do. Don't give them that out. It's simply who they are. Bitter malcontents who just destroy whatever's in front of their face at any given moment because that's the entire point of the religion. It's a religion of destruction. It is woven into their being the way my sense of humor is. Until we understand and accept that, we will never understand these people and what they'll do next and why they're doing what they're doing. It makes sense? Oh, one New York pizza man's none too pleased about things. You heard of the Boston Tea Party? Well, this is the Boston, P New York, this is the New York Pizza Party. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza. Give us death. Okay, not, not the most advanced protest I've certainly ever seen in my life, but the man was upset. Let's go to the chef joining me now, my friend Chef Andrew Gruel of the new Calico Fish House, which he's going to tell me about in just a minute. But okay, chef, why are all the pizza chefs in New York angry? Why are they throwing pizza at City Hall? What? All right, so this was actually proposed in 2016. This isn't 100% new, where they were forcing restaurants to either get rid of their coal and wood-fired ovens or put on a scrubber, which is basically this $20,000 contraption that purifies the air that's coming out of these ovens. 
Now what they've done is they've retabled this and they've said, look, maybe we should put a commission together to really go in and investigate exactly what's happening with the theoretical pollutants related to these ovens. So now they have a commission or some sort of a bureaucracy that's going to determine exactly what restaurants need to do. And the restaurants are going to have to pay these inspectors to come to their restaurants and tell them what they need to add on to their ovens, even if they're allowed to begin with. But we need to remember, this is all a red herring, right? This is about banning natural gas because this is this is really what it comes down to is that they're going to come in and they're going to say, well, we've determined that we haven't met the required emission number or the lower threshold, and therefore you're going to have to convert to electricity. This is just another extension of that. Eric Adams, New York City Mayor Adams, went on television and he was talking about the ban, and I, I'm really going to need you to clarify this. Here was Eric Adams. Well, first of all... Uh... I love my vegan pizza with vegan cheese, you know, and, um, you know, something about pizza, like, do anyone dislike pizza? Everyone likes pizza. You almost see that pie in front of you. You start to get happy. I think pizzas have saved more marriages than any other food, you know. Sharing a pie with your boo is like, that's the ultimate. We don't want to hurt businesses in the city, and we don't want to hurt the environment. You know, I think uh, nothing is more clearer to all of us is what uh, this environment is going through after uh, two weeks ago with the fire in uh, in Canada. That smoke is the type of smoke that we're talking about. Okay, so Chef, do I have this right? We don't want to hurt businesses, but we're going to charge them to have it inspected and then charge them $20,000 for the scrubber. And we're doing this because some arsonists set a wildfire in Canada. Do I have all that right? You've got that right. But remember, this is not about the environment. This is negligible. The effect, there's probably 100 coal fire oven pizzas in New York that we're talking about. You would have to cook 1 million pizzas in order to match the emissions from just one of any of our politicians' private plane flights. This is not the issue at all. You could get rid of every single oven in New York City and it would have a negligible effect on any of the carbon emissions, which we could obviously pontificate on whether they're even an issue to begin with. It's not about the environment. If they electrify everything, which is ultimately what they wanna do, coal and natural gas is what's driving that electricity. So we're actually gonna produce more coal and natural gas, or we're gonna emit it, in order to produce the necessary electricity. It is a complete lie. It's a sham. They are 100% lying about all of this in order to regain more control of the small businesses because they're the enemies and the government wants to take all this over. Chef, why can't I cook a good pizza at home? You know how much I love pizza. I see the pizzas you make and it just makes me want to cry. They look so good. And I've tried over and over and over again. Regular oven, the wife got me one of these pellet smoker pizza ovens. The crust is either done before the toppings, they're never done at the same time, or the toppings are done and the crust is not done. What am I doing wrong? Well, two things. Number one, you need an oven that's going to get up to about six or 700 degrees. You can now buy these little Umi ovens where you get the wood fire outdoors and it brings it up to a much higher heat. But the second piece is, is that you got to make your dough fresh and let it ferment for like two days so that you can fully stretch that dough and the yeast actually leavens, it, ri it rises, and then it kind of falls back down again so that when you're cooking, it creates that cracker crust. Otherwise, there's way too much moisture stuck inside the dough itself. So you really, the key is that long fermentation time. Make your dough, leave it in the refrigerator for a couple days, have about 40 of those beautiful Jesse Kelly burgers, and then make your pizza. Uh, crap, that's it. I haven't, been the, I haven't been leaving the dough out. Okay, all right. Jeff, in all seriousness, a filet of fish at McDonald's is now $4.58. It's $7 in Massachusetts. Okay, that's a filet of fish. My mom used to take me to get these when I was a kid, and it was a dollar. And I'm not trying to sound like that old guy complaining about prices, but if that's a cheap poor person meal now, Chef, what's happening to restaurants? I can't believe it's even that low, to be honest with you. It makes me wonder what they're serving. But, uh, you know, look, the costs in restaurants are astronomical. And it's not just the cost of products and supply chain, but it's the taxes that are being added on top of the taxes. I used to run like a 28% labor cost in my restaurant. I'm running 46% labor right now because of the taxes that they add on top of the tips. 
and the new taxes that just keep being added on top of the existing taxes. They're taxing us out of any successful profit and loss statement so that ultimately all the small businesses can fail. The only way you can succeed is if you have economies of scale or you're a large corporation. When you're a large corporation, you play the game, you beat the drum, you merge with the government, you tell them what they want to hear, you know, you fly the flags, and it's become one. I mean, that's fascism defined, and that's what's happening in America. Yeah, that is, and it's sad. Chef, I appreciate you very much, my brother. Come back very soon. Are you tired of watching your beloved nation fall prey to the insidious grip of communism? Anti-Communist Manifesto by Jesse Kelly is the ultimate guide to fighting back against this destructive force. Discover the shocking truth about communism infiltrating our education system, corporations, and even environmental movements. Unmask the true agenda behind groups like Antifa and Black Lives Matter and learn how to protect the United States from the most malicious enemy. With extensive documentation of past atrocities, you'll see the undeniable danger posed by this ideology. Arm yourself with knowledge and join the fight to preserve the American way of life. The Anti-Communist Manifesto, a new must-read book from Jesse Kelly. Get your copy today at jessekellybook.com or wherever books are sold.